Oh, so crying out loud. You ain't gonna be able to know when we're gonna start shooting. Well, you know, one of these days I'm gonna get me a good ventriloquist. Like Jack Dunham. Or, or Todd Oliver. Or even Jim Barber. That would be good. You think so? Uh, are we testing right now? Or are we we're rolling? Okay. Tell the people a little bit about yourself. Well, what do they want to know? Well, they want to know where you came from. Well, my name is Reginald Rack, and I'm an Axtell soft puppet. An Axtell? People out here, yeah. something that'll make them feel good. Oh, Ben Gay. Ben Gay? Yeah, you know, the lotion you put on your belly and it turn, makes your belly warm and it makes you feel good. Ben Gay. Well, what do you want me to tell him? X-lax or something like that? Uh, Phillips milk of magnesia? He's gassy. He, don't give this guy beans because he's gassy. He needs Bino. Oh, Bino. Yeah. Can you say Bino without moving your lips? Bino. Can you say Bino without me moving my lips? Ah! Uh, what is that supposed to be? And how long have we been working together now? I think we've been working together for, uh... About six years. Yeah, six years. Six years. And we just got back from the ventriloquist convention, and Dirk blew out his voice, and so that's why I sound a little hoarse right here. Oh, no, my, my, my bow tie moved. Well, let me bring your bow tie. Here we go. Now I don't feel as naked anymore, anyway. See, I got a new outfit. Stand me up so they can see my new outfit. Here we go. How's that? You see that? I'm doing my balancing. Uh oh, oh, we're out of frame. You dingling, you, you shouldn't have done that because you made me go out of frame there. Yeah, I'm sorry. Anyway, so it's been a very, it's been a nice pleasure for me to be able to share with you. Well, I, you, I was do, I was the one doing most of the talking. Well, that's because I, I let you do most of the talk. Oh, you let this guy's a narcissist. I got news for you. He's so much of a narcissist that his brother won't even talk to him anymore. <laughs> Anyway, it's been a pleasure. Why don't you get another character out now and you could share some more on the video. Thank you. This is Reginald Roden saying it's been a pleasure and we'll talk to you later. Let me know when we're going to start shooting here. Right, okay, here we go. Are you ready? Yeah, Rocco, I am ready. Okay, I want to introduce myself. My name is Rocco, not the OC Bulldog. That's right, and who am I? You are Dirk Golden, the scrolling... Lousy ventriloquist. Rocco, you're always putting me down. Why do you always do that to me? Well, I cannot tell a lie. Anyway, I uh, just wanted to say I'm here with my good friend Carter Stucker. He is a professional videographer, and he has agreed to uh, make a little video of us. Is that right? Yeah, I, I would not tell a lie. So anyway, okay, don't you mess with the Rocco. Because I got it right. Hey, hey, you're looking at me. What kind of puppet are you? I am a Axtell bulldog. Oh, uh, Steve Axtell out in Ventura made me. He did. Yeah. And I think he likes our character. I think, I think the character fits you very well. Okay, so uh, should I say a couple of things that I usually do? Yeah, go ahead. Hey, how you doing? Hey, what are you looking at? Huh? Yeah, you. Yo, yeah, hey, forget about All right, it. So no, what did you want to ask me? All right, I wanted to ask you about Lou Cabrazzi. Huh? Lou Cabrazzi. It ain't Lou Cabrazzi. It's Lou Cabrazzi. Lou Cabrazzi. No, no, it's Lou Cabrazzi. Oh, Lou Cabrazzi. That's right. Lou Cabrazzi. Hey, he sleeps with the fishes. You know what I mean? All right, say, uh, do, your little, do the little song that you like to do. We'll get out our last character that we're going to do today, okay? You mean uh, the dog stuff? Yeah. Okay, I like to uh, do a little recitation. All right, do a little recitation. Then. This is called Old Mother Hubbard. All right, do your Old Mother Hubbard thing. Go ahead. All right, look the other way because I don't want you to see this. I'm not going to look the other way. You just look into the camera and do it. Okay, here it goes like this. Old Mother Hubbard went to the cupboard to get a poor dog a bone. And when she got there, the cupboard was there. And the poor dog starved to death. <laughs> so there you have it. I'm about ready. I got to go outside. You know, it's time to do what the dogs do. 
No pun intended. Okay, thank you very much. And uh, what did you want to say before we go? Well, I just want to say thank you very much for your time, Rocco. Uh, thanks for not giving me a hard time. Well, you're more than welcome. Thank you and thank you. Okay, now get out of here. Beat it already. Okay, um, what are we going to do? Well, Stanley, why don't you introduce yourself? Okay, my name is Stanley Livingston, and I'm eight years old, and I like to do, um, uh, I like to read, and I like to ride, and I like to do mathematics, and I like poetry. You like poetry? Yes. And I've been working on my poems. You've been working on your poems? Yes, would you like to hear one? You're actually going to do a, uh, you're, gonna, uh, you're actually going to recite some poetry for me? Of course. All right, we'll go right ahead. This one I've been working on a long time. Okay, go ahead. Can you clear your throat? <clears throat> Thank you. Roses are red, violets are blue, a cow stinks and so do you. Stanley, that wasn't very nice. Well, it, it, it's poetry though. Why don't you do something else? Okay, I've been working on another one too. All right, do that. Why don't you do the, one, the other one you've been working on? Okay, goes like this. Roses are red, violets are blue, Houston's in Texas, why aren't you? <laughs> All right, well, that's, that's quite enough. Why don't you do something else? I'm going to sing a little song about a little boy that was stuck on the, um, on the pooper. On the what? On the pooper. On the pooper? Yeah, but you can't say that without moving your mouth. One of these days, folks, I'm going to get me a good ventriloquist. All right, that's enough of that. Goes like this. Little Tommy Tinker sat on a clinker. He began to cry. Mommy, mommy, poor little innocent guy. Little Tommy Tinker sat on a clinker. He began to cry. Mommy, mommy, poor little innocent guy. What kind of, what kind of figure are you? I am a Selberg. One of the finest figures that you could get made in America today. That's very nice, Stanley. How do you like working with me? Excuse me? How do you like working with me? I don't want to answer that question. That's not a very fair question. I would rather be working with Jack Dunham or um, uh, Jim Barber or uh, um, anyone else but you. <coughs> oh, what's wrong? Do you have a little tickle in your throat? No, I'm fine. Now that I coughed, I'm okay. I want you to look right into that camera. Wait, right into that camera? Am I looking at the camera? Is the operator of the dummy here making me look into the camera? You're looking into the camera. And what would you like to end with? Why don't you say goodbye, Stanley? Okay. Goodbye, Stanley. Thank you very much. Okay, cut. Cut. We're done. Anyway, it's been a pleasure. We're good. Huh? It's me. Come on. Oh, they're not listening to me. All right, we're going to go. Thank you.